Whether you want to sell print on hand stickers or t-shirts or you want to sell really cool printables that are unique and different from other people or you simply want to have that unique touch to your brand, having a different font than what everyone else is using could go a long way. I think some of my favorite designs were designs in which I used fonts that I don't think a lot of people are using. And a lot of these fonts either came from marketplaces like Creative Fabrica, where you can buy fonts, or I actually made some of these fonts myself. And I've been asked this question a million times, how do I actually use my own fonts when it comes to uploading them onto Canva or to Kittle? And that's what this quick tutorial is all about. So let's just get started. We're going to have a small tutorial on both, as well as a little discussion about fonts and why you need a different font and is it legal and where and when it isn't legal to use a certain font. But let's start with the first thing, which is uploading to Kittle and to Canva a custom font. And for that, I just need to make myself smaller. And we're here on Canva. And if I want to upload a custom font onto Canva, I'm going to be on the dashboard on the first page and I'm going to go to brand, which is a pro option. And here I have brand fonts and I click on add new. I'm going to head off to some of my fonts and let's go with my weird lines, which I like. And I'm going to choose the TTF version of the font and I'm getting a notification that I acknowledge that I have the rights to use this font, which is something I told you I'll mention later on. And yes, upload anyway. And this font is officially now, depending on the speed of your internet, uploaded. And now in case I want to use it, I'm just going to hop in to create a design. Let's do some random size. I usually do 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, mostly for print on man. Add a heading. And here you can see all of the uploaded fonts that I have. Again, some of them are from Creative Fabrica and some of them are the, the ones that I made. For example, we have the weird lines, which is this one. I really kind of like this font. It's super weird. Like there is no cohesive <laughs> vibe to it. I also love this font, uh, Monday Morning. It's from Creative Fabrica. And this one is one of my favorites. It's actually the one I'm using for my second YouTube channel to create the banner art. So this one is really something that I'm looking into branding myself. And I also have this one, which is kind of like my handwriting, but bold and the sketchy one, which is kind of cute and a lot of other stuff. I really like this one. It's one that I made several designs with, and that's how you upload and use a font to Canva. But we also said we're going to be talking about Kittle. So let's hop on over to Kittle. Now with Kittle, if I want to upload a font, I'm not doing it from the dashboard. I'm going to click on new project and just randomly select a size. For those of you who don't know Kittle, there were a million tutorials about that. I'll leave a link to a few tutorials down below regarding Kittle, as well as a tutorial comparing Kittle to Canva, which one you should be paying for if you want to do print on a man or sell printables, because we have all these licensing things that come in the way. Now with Kittle, we already have a huge variety of amazing fonts. They have really unique fonts, because Kittle is actually an app for design that came from Heritage Type Co, which is a font company. So they do have a lot of their own unique fonts, but if you need a specific font for yourself because it's the font of your brand or it's a font you purchased and you just, you know, you want to make it look special and you want to use it on Kittle, again, I added a piece of text, a headline or whatever. I'm clicking on the font. I'm clicking on font upload and choose font and i'm going to choose a different one from my bundle let's go with the dots one and uploading the ttf file i can change the name of the style even though it doesn't really matter here it depends on if you have different styles that you yourself created and your uploaded fonts are going to appear here so when you go to all it's always going to be recently used fonts and the fonts that you uploaded now let's check out new dots I kind of like this one. It's really weird. <laughs> I know. It's really, really weird. We have the chunky may here, the main mess, which I also uploaded here. I think the main mess is my favorite. And we also have these kind of lines, which is cute. Now, the reason why I really like Kittle when it comes to anything relating to text and I kind of like it a bit more than I like Canva is because they have extensive text effects option. 
whether it's different types of shading, which can really help you getting that special look. You have another type of line shadow, which kind of reminds me of, you know, bullet journaling when I was 16, calligraphy when you were in high school. We have block shadow. We even have this type of shadow, which is actually kind of cool. Let me just find a cool color combo to work with it. Oh, this is so weird. I don't know if it's weird in a good way or not, but it's so weird. And we can block it all the way and angle it to a different position and even increase this. Oh, this is nice. If I offset it. Oh, well, this creates some kind of a sticker feel to it. I really like this one. And you can also work with decorating the actual font in this manner. I don't know if you can see this, but there are really small lines here. We can actually make them thicker with more distance. Change to just having a line crossing here. We have these lines that can cross our text. And again, we can change the second color or go back here to change the first initial color to something else. I feel like I'm kind of drifting away from what I wanted to do here which is a tutorial about how to upload fonts, but you know, we're uploading fonts and we also want to use them. So that's kind of a cool thing. And now whenever I go to my profile, let's say I'm going to a different project. And this is something that I actually designed this morning for one of my niches, Shut Up and Let Me Journal. So in this case, I was using my main mess font. And here, as you can see, I was using this decoration option. Again, this is not a Kittle tutorial, but I just have to say for those of you who don't know, they have a lot of text morphing abilities, which can make things look really, really cool. And there were full tutorials about that and more tutorials on Kittle to come. But for now, we finish with the first part of how to upload fonts onto Canva and Kittle. And I just want to share with you guys a few thoughts about using fonts for commercial purposes. And for that, let me just make myself bigger again and stop sharing my screen. Before I get to a last font disclaimer, so to speak, or what you're allowed to do with fonts, I would appreciate it if you like this video that you will give it a like on YouTube because every time you do that, it really does help my channel and it helps YouTube think that this is a good video. It's a really short video compared to the other videos that I'm doing. So one like or a comment will really go a long way with spreading this video to more people. Now, when we are talking about using fonts for your projects, you need to remember that if you find a font online that is free, it doesn't mean that you can use it for commercial purposes. A lot of people put up free fonts, but they're only for personal use. If you want to use your font for commercial purposes, you're going to have to see that the person who created the font is allowing you to use it for commercial purposes. A good example for that would be Creative Fabrica, where you can go in and check out amongst their millions of graphics and millions of backgrounds. You also have a wide variety of fonts and you can pay per font and download it with a commercial license. However, you also have the Creative Fabrica membership and there is a discount link to Creative Fabrica somewhere in the description. They always have kind of different sales and your membership to Creative Fabrica that allows you to download so many files and endless amount of files for print on demand is also your commercial use license. So if you downloaded a font using a membership, if you stop the membership, you might not be able to use that font and you might have to remove that font from anything else that you're doing. For that case, there are other solutions. For example, again, joining Kittle and choosing Kittle instead of Canva because they do have a wider range of fonts that is a little bit more special and more unique, or just purchasing the fonts yourself, whether on Creative Fabrica, purchasing on Creative Market, purchasing on Etsy, of course, while always checking the commercial license for these fonts. I am also making my own fonts and I make them for me and I make them for you guys. There was a video a while back on how to make and sell your own fonts. I will leave a link to that one down below if you guys have an iPad and want to start creating your own fonts. I have been using iFont Maker as well as Calligrapher, which I should be making a video about Calligrapher as well. Let me know if that is interesting to you guys. And I've just created a new bundle of fonts on maketribe.com and I will leave a link to that one down below. The current fonts bundle is $7 for I think more than seven fonts. <laughs> I try to make it less than a dollar per font. And what you can do with my fonts, what I provide you a license to do with these fonts is to use them for everything other than selling them as a font. That means you can use them for print on demand items. You can create 
printables with them, you can put them in books on Amazon KDP, you can make your own logos from them, you can create logos and banners, designs and Instagram designs for yourself or for clients, pretty much anything other than selling the font to other people. And I think that covers it. That was the longest explanation of how to upload fonts to Canva and Kittle with a little bit of a chat. And I feel like I needed to make this video because I've had so many people constantly asking me, hey, how do I upload a font to Canva or how do I upload a font to Kittle? And those parts of the tutorials were kind of in the middle of a different tutorial. So I thought I will make just one tutorial for that. And I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content about being creative, selling your art online, whether it's print-on-demand, printables, or KDP. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!